We just happened to be at the airport um, bumping into professional cyclist Sam Brand with Team Nova Nordisk who is having one hell of a day. We'll come on to that in just a second but uh, the reason why I want to talk to Sam is because Sam has just come back from doing an incredible race in Italy and he's just now getting onto a flight to go out to Japan and um, to then come back to then meet up with the Commonwealth Kings team as we're going out to Australia but uh, Sam, I mean I'm exhausted even <laughs> saying all that. Yeah. Talk to me through this, what you've just been up to this it's weekend. It's been a crazy day, I mean um, I did Milan San Remo on Saturday so 300k from Milan to San Remo. Um, it was just an absolute whirlwind of a time. I had such a great experience. I mean, the weather was awful, but uh, it, I had had a smile on my face the whole time. It's just like a dream, really. You grow up watching this race and just wanting to be part of it, and now I've done it and got through it, so uh, I'm so happy. And then I had a few troubles coming back yesterday, and um, flight was delayed, missed my flight, then they didn't have my bag. So uh, I finally got my bag this morning, washed, dried, and packed it again, and I'm back on the flight. Could you not have just gone direct Japan. to Japan? Well, yeah, um, the flights were done separately. I wasn't originally in the Milan San Remo roster, so uh, it all changed last minute, and uh, I prefer to come home. I mean, it's not so much of a, a deal, but it's when you have to. It's nice to be in your own bed as little as as much as possible. But I mean, and your mum's do you wash oh, it? Oh, for sure. Yeah. But I had to do it myself today, so it's not a problem. And I okay, let's talk about uh, Milan San Remo because yep. we are all talking about it because yep. we saw Mark Cavendish's cat crash. Course, yeah. Did you witness it? Did you see uh, it? Well, I was kind of um, in the in the pack at the time, and it was just one of those one of those racing incidents you don't really think about at the time, and it, it was just. Um, uh, you just hope that he's okay and everything everything's uh, fine but I mean as I say there wasn't much at the time and you, you know what's going on but you, you just kind of in the, you know the who moment it was as soon as yeah you saw? as soon as we saw you could kind of work out who it was I mean his bike's unique his shoes are unique everything so you kind of you kind of do know and just hope that everything's okay how do you witness something like that and that's one of your teammates of course going to the Commonwealth yeah. Games how do you witness that and then get straight back into the mode obviously of wanting to carry on and do the best that you can do was as a cyclist no matter who it is, you don't like to see crashes, whether it's a teammate or uh, anyone from another rider, uh, f another rider from a team, but uh, it's part of cycling, crashes happen, and there was quite a lot in the race. I mean, um, I think I, I witnessed three or four in the neutral zone rolling out of Milan. It was wet, it was horrific. There's uh, cobbles coming out of the town, lots of like rail crossings, so uh, there was people on the deck everywhere. So you kind of like just get out, you get kind of just block it out. I mean, you don't. You don't think about crashing, otherwise you'd never get any bikes, so it's did just you, one of those things. Did you see him afterwards? Uh, I didn't see him afterwards, no. I think he was taken straight into the ambulance and straight to hospital, so I hope he's okay and heals up quick. So back to you then. As a race, as it went, did you feel as if you performed your best? Yeah, I Happy mean, uh, yeah, very. I mean, as I say, um, I was added uh, only middle of last week, so I mean, um, it's a big race and I really want to do it, so I kind of... The first smile thinking, on your face, I, so I don't think I'll stop this. I mean, even the, the baggage situation yesterday, and stop me smile. I was like, yeah. Everything that the, the team asked for me to do, I th they were happy um, with my performance. So we looked after uh, our main rider, David Lozano, up until uh, the sort of at the end it gets very hilly, and that's where we need to put him near the front of the, those situations, which we did. We had Charles out in the break, a fantastic ride. So, um, yeah, I was, uh, the team were happy with everything I did over the moon, and we got everyone through and uh, some good results. You finished 300 kilometers, you yeah. got on a flight, you're back, you man, and now you're quickly turning around yeah. and you're going off to Japan. So let's yes. talk about Tour of... Tour of Tachigi. I'm so glad you said yeah. that. Talk to me through it. Um, so I fly out today um, to Amsterdam, Japan tomorrow. Um, I've got a couple of functions with Nova Nordisk out in, in Japan. So uh, really looking forward to talking diabetes out there and hopefully um, with uh, a small community of type 1s out there. So, I mean, spreading that message to inspire, educate, and empower those affected by diabetes. So really, really looking forward to doing that. Three-day race. Uh, time trial two road stages then uh, back on Monday and then a week at home before Commonwealth Games and how are you feeling ahead of the Commonwealth Games oh, I can't wait it's uh, just this whole experience of being in my first pro season it's just absolutely phenomenal it's not I'm going too such badly, a good time now I mean even the bad days are great days so um, I'm privileged I mean we can't often forget that the situation we find ourselves in where we have got a really good deal and especially me I mean um, 
you go to countries that aren't so well. I mean, our, our, my boss, Phil Sutherland, was out in Rwanda to try and um, bring on their sort of um, healthcare system. So we, we're doing a lot of work in behind the scenes and we do forget we're privileged. I'm a professional cyclist, I get to live my dream. I'm hoping that me living my dream, along the way I can help others live theirs. So that's a really, really big part of my job and that's what keeps me going. After finishing 300 kilometers and obviously going off to Japan and yeah. then coming back and then going off to Australia, how are you physically feeling? Um, obviously a little tired, but uh, I had a couple of uh, easy rides after San Remo to sort of get my legs going again. And uh, I mean, it's long travel, but I mean, stay in hotel tonight, be able to move around, keep walking, um, don't sit down for too long on the flights and, you know, just look after yourself, preserve and uh, the form's there. So hopefully you do well. Okay. This is a long flight that we're going to do, obviously going off to Australia yep. and you're so good at traveling. You've yeah. been traveling all flight. I've never flown that far yeah. away before. Give me some tips. Uh, compression socks, compression tights. I wear a lot of uh, lycra even when traveling. So um, it's all about fluids for me. I mean, just uh, being sensible, trying not to change too much your routine. So I mean, get up, walk around, stretch. Alcohol. Yeah. Well, not for me, uh, but I um, mean, uh, I guess you could be, you'd yeah. be okay. But, and I mean, jet lag. Uh, how are you going to uh, um, manage your jet lag? For me, like uh, it's not so bad. I'll try and. Um, I try as soon as I'm getting ready for the race, as in like the few days leading up to traveling, I'll be getting ready, putting them in place where I want to be. So I mean, when I'm there, I'm, I'm ready to go in that time zone. So I mean, it might mean stay up a bit later on a flight or sleep in, in small doses as opposed to one big sleep that you'd have in your own bed. But it's kind of just, you do what you do. I mean, you can say there's an easier way, but until you do it and get there, you don't never know how you're gonna feel. So we're out there with plenty of time. So hopefully, um, We'll, we'll all be ready to go. Sam Brand, are you living your dream? I am, always. <laughs>